Afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Aubrey Hockey Centre for our Round 15 matchup. It is our match of the round. Div 1 men, we've got the United Hockey Club versus the Wodonga Hockey Club. It's top of the table clash, first versus second. The boys are on equal points at the moment, so this will go a long way to determining who may finish the season top of the ladder. Cass Argus for All in Sports with you. Joining me, Michael McInerney from Falcons. Michael, welcome. Thank you. Nice first to time be here. on the microphone. Are you yeah. excited? Oh, I'm very excited, yeah. <laughs> Before we kick off, just a bit of a shout out to our sponsors, uh, our major partners, BF Transport, Back on Track Physiotherapy, NZ Aubrey and Commercial Club Aubrey powering us today. Michael, top of the table clash, you would know both of these teams quite well. What kind of game are we potentially expecting here today? Uh, I think we're going to see a very fast paced game, although the rain uh, has slowed it up a bit. Uh, we've had a very slow game previously. Talk to me about the pitch. You've just played through the bit of rain and you can see the pitch with a bit of water coming up. How does that change the game? Yeah, it's interesting. In the bits that are draining better, it's actually quite nice. The ball moves quite fast. Yep. But as soon as you hit those puddles, um, it slows right down. A lot of players uh, take a bit to get their heads around that. Yeah, and interestingly, looking at the two attacking circles, uh, heading to the left of your screen, United, there's not a lot of puddles in theirs, but... Wodonga do have some at the top of their circle they'll have to navigate. Is it something that really changes the way you play? Yeah, uh, so certainly in our game we were telling the boys to steer clear of the puddles. Um, so we're trying to work our way around it or if we had to go through it, um, a lot of overheads. Yeah, good. And speaking of your game, how, how, how'd you go? Uh, yeah, we had a good one. Um, Falcons won that one. Um, I don't know, I thought we moved it quite well. A lot of rain, so it's always difficult um, to play in the rain and you don't really know what's going to happen. but So that's how we ended up with you. Falcons had a win, so you put your hand up. You wouldn't have come if it was yeah, a loss. I, was, I don't know what happened. I was approached. <laughs> <laughs> so we're about 30 seconds in on our Cavalier Homes time clock here. No score as yet. United just headed out on the attack now through Smith. A good defence there from Pont brings it out. Wodonga without their coach, Jez Payne, today. How much will that affect not having Jez on the pitch, Michael? Uh, I think that's a... Um yeah, that's a big down for them. Uh, he controls the game quite well, and he's often their go-to through the middle, I think. So just as we start, I'm a little unsure myself what we're going to get here. We've got probably the two best attacking teams in the comp, but also the two best defensive teams. So I'm a little unsure how this one will play out. it be an interesting first quarter to see who gets on top. So United with the ball here, looks up and finds Jones. To right, who goes straight back and then the flick up forward. Beautiful flick. And that's what we might see a bit of, Michael, is the ball hitting the puddle and just stopping. Yeah, definitely. Takes you off guard too. You think it's going to get through and it just holds up. So Wodonga on the attack here, trying to get it through. He's looking for Albon, who's the leading scorer for Wodonga. Without Jez Payne today, they'll look to him to be the focal point up forward. So a bit of a sluggish start to this game. Not a lot happening either end. Is it a bit of both teams maybe just feeling each other out? Yeah, I think so. Um, they're probably both scared of each other, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so Vogel winning his team a free hit here. It will put United on the attack. Looks up finds Foster. Great defence there from Wodonga. Winning their team, the ball. Albon takes it. Looks up, but good defence in the middle there from United. Really quick play here. Oh. More there. Not sure if he... Tripped over his own feet or whether he was tripped by the player. I'm sure there. He copped a stick to the ankle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure if he was tripped on purpose, he would have been sent off. Vogel with a beautiful ball. Just unable to get the handle on it on the wing here. United control it quite well in the centre. They're always quite strong there. Just a really well-drilled team, aren't they? they? They obviously all have a role and they play it well. 
I'd love to go see their training, actually. I reckon they're the uh, <laughs> probably the hardest trainers in the comp. So United on the attack here. Foster goes his five, drills it into the circle. It came off a Wodonga foot, I thought. Must have been stick. Well cleared there by Wodonga. Jones picks it up. He's looking strong in defence today, Jones. Not much has gotten through him. Wodonga turn it over. Beautiful ball up wide, looking out oh. on the wing, but nice work there from United defence. Read it perfectly, and Moore on the attack. He's got McQueen. That's Henry running with him. It's a little miscommunication. He thought he was heading goalward, but he wasn't. And something I've noticed on the few United games we've done, they do jump on and off the pitch in terms of their interchanges often, Michael. Yeah, quick. They're always a quick team and they rotate it very quickly. Which probably keeps them going. Always got plenty on the bench too. Yeah, Beautiful I don't know from how they Albon. Do that. <laughs> Couldn't quite get the ball keeping in, but he's starting to look a little dangerous. Great ball through the middle, and you can just see the puddles coming up there. And the backwards Tomer, but not really to anyone. Not sure what he was trying to do there. <coughs> so Pont will look to slow things down a little bit. We're about five minutes in on our Cavalier Homes time clock. No, no goals as yet. Both teams just. Feeling each other out. Albon picks it up. Met with two defenders straight away. Wins his team the free hit, but looks up and just nowhere to go. So good movement there from Leach. So far, Michael, with, uh, United's defence is holding really strong here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Timmy Jones in the back is always solid, and I think he controls it quite well. So Leach with the ball again, starting to get his hands on it a fair bit. Sonta, another dangerous man in front of goal. They'll want him in the circle, not out there. We've also got some solid goalies as well, so it'll be hard for either team to score. So Leach looking to put it into the circle, but not only got one Wodonga player in the circle here. I thought they might have a couple. I think they're really struggling to come up with a plan to get around the United defence. Missing Paney. Jones takes it there. He had the lead coming for it, but well covered by Wodonga. And Pont just hits it straight into the puddle and well picked up. Oh. It's Lieburn that takes it through, but Pont, great recovery from him. And they're looking to flick it up to get it going forward, but just no one forward to go to. So unfortunately for Lieburn, just found his foot there, but that's that puddle we're talking about. There's a big one in the middle, and there's one right over on that side there where the ball is now. Flicked up into the circle. Albon didn't just quite get it in the circle, but he's managed to pick it up outside, but beautiful work here from, from Jones. Timmy's solid there. Looks like he's on today, Tim Jones. They're going to have to go around him. I don't think they're going to get through him. I think Wodonga's also missing Josh Pritchard. He's usually um, yeah, interestingly, up there in attack too. We had him on the list, but I can't see him either. So it'll be a United ball here. Moore will look to send them forward. Nice tackle there from Wodonga, the defence. Jeez, the follow-up from McQueen, that's Alex, was beautiful. Punched into the circle. Plenty on here. They've got it. The shot's on, but well covered by Martin. I think he had it covered. The shot from Sean Moore. Very relaxed customer out there, Ben Martin. Doesn't seem to get too, too
too hectic while he's while he's playing. I reckon he's had some experience. He's been around for a while, but he's still got it. He was great last week in the, the half that we streamed for Wodonga. North probably had about 15 or 20 solid shots on him and just couldn't get one through. So Leeburn looking to go forward, but cut off again by the Wodonga defence. They're standing strong at the moment, but they're just starting to be under just some sustained pressure. Michael, can they keep up the work in defence, or do you think United will punch through soon? I think United might punch through. They really rely on Paney and Josh Pritchard, so I reckon they're struggling with a bit of attack. So Wodonga with another good chance here. They get the ball in a perfect spot. Out to Albon, that's Seth. Does just give it back through to that United defence. It's becoming really hard to get through, and a great ball up the wing. Across from Seymour. Does end up back with Wodonga, though. Seymour with some brilliant follow-up work. Finds right. He'll hold on to it here. Looks up, nowhere to go. Good talk from Vogel. Wodonga just seemed to be giving him a bit of space out here around halfway. Not too worried with the ball there. Picked up by Seymour, top of the circle. Sweeping tackle there from Wodonga. All we saw was the puddle go flying up. Oh, the ball from Vogel is amazing, but just couldn't quite pick it up. So United just starting to look a little bit dangerous here. Four, four and a half minutes to go now. Cavalier Holmes time clock. Still nil all at the moment. The rain seems to have held off for us so far, but the pitch is a little, few little puddles on the pitch just slowing the game down. The flick again from Wodonga. That's oh. come off a of United six, so we'll see a Wodonga ball. I think it's gone over the sideline. But again, I'm noticing with Wodonga, they don't seem to be pressing their players into the circle. Michael, is that... Do you think that's something that's a tactic on purpose or? Yeah, I'm not sure, to be honest. You'd think they'd have someone hanging around on this back post yeah. or around it, ready to get on it. That's a new one for me. See if it pays They're off not, for them. Not looking like they'll penetrate there at all. So a nice touch through there from the 32. That's MacArthur, Hamish. I think he's just played in the game prior as well. Donga on the attack again. Seymour looking very busy out there at the moment. So Henry McQueen pushes it towards the top of the circle. It's well covered in the shot. Comes across oh. Martin. Geez, I think they had him had him hosed, but just managed to get a stick on it. That was probably Wooden United's best shot so far. But I think Ben Martin lost his foot actually. Oh, the foot. Oh, like as he was trying to deflect it in. There you go. Doesn't matter how you stop <laughs> it as a goalie, just stop it, isn't it? Uh. So three minutes to go in our Cavalier Homes first quarter and a bit of a stalemate here at the moment. Wodonga defending well, but United looking like they might just be able to attack through. The ball just a little too hot there for Albon, that's Ethan. Pips his foot on the way through too, but it's play on. They'll play the advantage, Seymour with it. Good again from Wodonga. So far, Mac McQuilton down there in defence for, for Wodonga, probably their best so far. Something we need to tell you about Mick too is you get to choose the area specialist Donna Duncan Player of the Day. We'll hit you up in the fourth quarter for that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Seeing you're a newbie, I'll let yeah, you know now. Looking forward to it. A lot of flicks today. I think that's something they're doing to maybe try and get beyond the puddles. So Albon picks it up. Albon v Vogel. Nice little one-on-one -on -one and Albon coming out the victor. Great ball across there, finds McQuilton, that's Kieran. Plenty of McQuiltons out there today. Sonta taking it into the circle, but just well trapped by Jones. Channeled him in straight over the baseline. So a minute and a half to go here. Cavalier Holmes time clock. United just slowing it down a little bit. They've been playing pretty fast pace so far, quarter one. 
Work from McQueen. Back through to Foster. Might be happy to just keep possession here and have maybe one last attack on goal here, Michael, you think? Yeah, I reckon they might. <laughs> Can't go through them, go over them. That's it. Lee Burn, nice straight ball. Good defence again from Wodonga. Ooh, not sure it travelled to five, and I think they have picked up on that. So Pont being strong in defence. Good set up here from United. Makes Wodonga go nice and sideways. So nearing 30 seconds to go on our Cavalier Homes time clock. Wodonga pegged down in defence. Good pressure from United. So Leach will pick it up with 20 seconds to go. I'm not sure they've got time to go forward and have a shot, but potentially just need to keep possession so United don't get a run on, which is exactly what... Ooh, just couldn't get it over through. So Cull on for his first run of the day. So that will take us through to quarter time. Michael, nil all. What are we expecting in the second quarter here? Will either team make much of a change? I don't think they'll make much of a change, but I think United's going to really amp it up. A bit more attack in the circle. Yeah, they sort of finished off that last quarter, starting to attack a little bit more, something we might be able to expect heading into the second. We'll take a short break. Be back with you. You work hard, so does your equipment. You can't afford to stop. So when a hose or fitting lets go, you need to know there's someone around to get you back up and running fast. No matter where you are or what time it is, your local NZ Hose Doctor will be there. With an extensive network all around the country, chances are we're not that far away. You work hard at what you do, and at NZ, we work hard to keep you going. NZ, on call 24-7. With space. With energy. With spirit. With commitment. With courage. With flexibility. Welcome back here to the second quarter of our match of the round, Div 1 Men. Second quarter brought to you by our major partners, BF Transport, Back on Track Physiotherapy, NZ Albury and Commercial Club Albury. If you're just tuning in, tightly tight contest in the first quarter. No Jayco Albury with longer goals as yet, but I don't think United are too far off scoring here. Cass Argus for All in Sports joined on special comments by Michael McInerney or Mick Mack as most of you know him. What you, are we going to see any changes this second quarter? Or you think United will continue to do what they're doing, but will we see anything from Wodonga? Uh, I as think United are just going to put the pressure on, to be honest. As Although we say that, Ethan Albon, shot on goal, but great work there from the keeper, Scott Anderson. Sorry to interrupt you. No. <laughs> there, so <laughs> are you expecting yeah, any changes from Wodonga this quarter? Uh, to be honest, I'd, I'm not. I think they're going to they're play well defensively, but they're going to get hounded. They're going to have to score. They're not going to keep United to zero in this game, not the way that they're attacking. 
and I think the man for Wodonga is going to be Ethan Albon. As we say that, though, they're in the circle and earning a short corner. Yeah. It will be interesting to see what happens on their short corners, Mick Mac. That's normally Josh Pritchard who pushes out, and you can normally see Jez Payne every time on top. Yeah, he's always involved. So I'll expect Albon up there. His drag flick is probably I was going to say, best. I think they go for a flick quite often. It's probably and the best in the competition, I think, water that I've seen. On the, uh, water on the pitch, that's probably a good option. <coughs> We had a hard time pushing out, actually, earlier. It was raining and a lot of water in there. Well, where they are set up, it looks like from here it is between two puddles. Yeah. <laughs> so you're really looking at It's Mac McQuilton out there that will push out. He's going to have to get it spot on. Otherwise, it's going to hit a puddle and just stop dead. So it's McQuilton to push out. Done exactly. I've just comment put the commentator's curse on him, but a shot from Leach. Well covered there. I think it interference there. Got great start to this second quarter from Wodonga. It's probably the best couple of attacks they've had all game so far. So got the pump-up speech from coach Jez Payne at quarter time. They're well cut off here from United. Foster looks up, goes out to right. Swing and a miss. Had time, though, to correct himself. A bit of body work there from, from Smith. O'Brien on the pitch now. I think it might be his first run for the day. Takes off straight away knowing the Wodonga player wasn't five, but probably just got a head of steam up there and didn't quite do the team thing. But Sonta now steaming up the wing, but as he goes straight into the puddle, you see the ball there. It was actually a really nice hit from him, but just stopped it. It's not draining either. It'll just stay there all day. Well, it hasn't rained for probably about an hour, and, yeah, you're right, we... I think we're in for the whole game. So good pressure here from Wodonga has won them the ball back. Leach is starting to look dangerous, but Vogel, as he has done all game, being strong, but Leach wins it back, comes across. On Seth Albon in the middle, but United as they have all game. Mick Mack just win the ball back and go on the attack. Yeah. Ooh, good pressure there. Well done by Leach. Tim Smith, a very dangerous man when he gets the ball in hand. O'Brien flicks it long. Out nice and wide. Finds more into the circle. Interesting. I would have thought maybe that was a little dangerous into the circle. I would have said it was. Yeah. Not sure that's the call they made in the end, but geez, it would have been pretty if someone had got a stick in it. <laughs> So Wodonga will look to clear it out here, and it's they kept getting pegged on that side of the pitch where most of the puddles are. Brett Pont, the strong in defence, must have touched the foot on the outside of the circle. Won't be as short. Nice and quick from United. Ooh. Probably a really poor tackle there. Dave won't be happy about that. By McQuilton. Takes out Foster and gives away the short corner. Probably lucky, in my opinion, not to get a card there, possibly. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Benefit of the doubt. Don't know if they'll allow too many more of those tackles as the game goes on. So United with their first corner for the game. Have they got a drag flicker that we might see do something similar here to what Wodonga were trying to do? Uh, <coughs> that is a great question. Oh, we're about to find <laughs> out <laughs> then, aren't we? <laughs> so it looks like we've got Alex McQueen on top. We know they practice their deflections a lot. So It looks like it'll be Tim Jones to take the trap. Ball comes out. McQueen flicks it along. He was looking for his his injector coming across. Just misses more, that was. That was probably centimetres away from bringing a beautiful goal. So Pont to bring it out. And again, we're sort of four, four or five minutes into our Cavalier Holmes time clock in this second quarter and, and still no Jaco Aubrey Wodonga goals. Both teams, a couple of really good chances, but neither are being able to really actually get the shot on goal. You wouldn't say the keepers have had to actually do too much. No, not really. Apart so from Scotty, Scotty in the first, was it first quarter or second quarter there? Had a brief moment, but... Yep. So Leeburn to take the free on the sideline, right in front of us at the commentary box here. 
just quite miss a handle on that one. Not we could see what he wanted to do, but... Not his best flick. No, I think he knows it too. So Boyd to take the free hit here. Apologies during the first quarter. We didn't have Ben Boyd on our team sheet. He did actually have a really good first quarter, probably Wodonga's best for mine. So we'll give him a pump up now. Beautiful work there from the United player in Hill. That's Liam. A couple of hills out there. But Boyd again back in defence. Nice flick onto Pont. Heard the call behind him, went there. It was blind faith. He didn't even look. Foster with the ball. Plenty of time when they're around about halfway, but I think both teams, Mick, it looks like they're both quite happy to give each other space around the halfway line, but really closing in in the defensive 25 of each team to not allow any shots. Wodonga's holding on pretty well, actually. Will, one step for all that. They're going to have to be quick here, Boyd, to get it on, but he's got Leach if he finds him, but just bounces over the top of his stick. Players coming and going everywhere here. So Vogel with the free hit. He's looking to flick it, decides against it, slaps it to the top Great of the ball. circle. Great ball. Picked up by Seymour. He's shaped to shoot, but comes back, and Leach has done well to get back and defend. It's Albon, that's Seth, looks up. Found Sullivan. Let's give the ball back though to United. Vogel with the free hit here. <laughs> Beautiful bit of aerial work there from Mac McQuilton. No whistle as yet, the two teams do stop, but flick, nice flick up if you can get onto it. That's where you need the puddle. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the puddle on this. So the other side of the pitch, side that would have held up in the puddle. Oh, so they've just got the wrong side with that play. And again, so far, we're sort of halfway through our Cavalier home second quarter here and a little bit similar to the first quarter. No real change from either team. Mick Mack, is that what's going to be taken? What's going to take a team to make a change here to, to get on top? I actually expected um, United to punch through, but... Uh they're probably getting up there, but they're not really getting the chance to have a ping. So They've probably really only had two chances on keeper Ben Martin for Wodonga, but he's covered covered it well. And then really, I think Wodonga's probably really only had one chance up there. And so not a lot of shots on goal, but plenty happening in between the goalposts. Good build up here from Wodonga. Flicks it in. Just a little bit out of the reach of the 147 in Sullivan. Potentially United may have had that well enough covered anyway. So Jones will take the free hit. Wodonga with their press quite spread out across the pitch. Not trying to force United to go any particular way. Just a slippery ball there. Got Leach. Might pay off here for United, but Martin comes out. Although finds Corey Hill. There's no keeper. All they've got to do is find... A shot and couldn't quite get the shot, but it has come off Wodonga's foot and they've given up a short corner. That was no keeper in the yeah. in the goals. I was worried for them. They actually <laughs> did well to keep that out. They did. 